we have so much research to show when we deliver evidence-based practice, patient outcomes are at least 30% better. But despite all this wonderful research that we have, so little of it gets translated in the clinical practice to improve outcomes. We have this saying, it takes 17 years to translate evidence into practice. I say that is if you're blessed and lucky, because most times it takes 30, 40, or 50 years to change practice based on best evidence. When did we say all our ends will have bachelor's degrees? That was back in 65. It is 55 years, and we have so many states across the country that still only have 30 to 40 percent baccalaureate prepared nursing. So despite the knowledge Despite the evidence on how to screen, how to conduct evidence-based assessments, we still have non-evidence-based practices occurring all throughout the United States. This is a true life example. The tongue patch for weight loss. This is a procedure being conducted by a surgeon who was featured on a national news story. He sews nubby little plastic patches on the anterior of people's tongue with six digits to encourage them to lose weight. This surgeon was interviewed, you can Google it, on national TV, a reporter asked the surgeon, what evidence do you have behind this tongue patch? The surgeon said, well, I have anecdotal evidence this is working for the women I'm doing this procedure on. That reporter asked, well, how does it work? This is the honest and goodness answer that he gave. He said it creates so much pain for anybody to swallow anything but liquid. It's like a behavioral modification device. What is the definition of insanity? I think this is an extremely good example of that. So many of you that are on the webinar today, you as faculty may be teaching assessment to your students and maybe for a really long time. And we know it's tough to make a change, especially after all course materials are developed and we have everything down packed. But we are urging you today to really take a look at the best evidence and the best practices and to teach those best evidence-based assessment practices to your students. We all know that the only person who likes change is a baby with a wet diaper. We realize change is what I call character building, but you have got to help us to implement more evidence-based assessment and practice throughout the United States.